point it, shoot it, share it. We can now live in the moment, all because of the camera that's always with us. And the first big step to creating it is thanks to a software geek who did his best work while under pressure. I'm fully con. My wife is in labor. Yes, right this way. Thank you. At a hospital in Santa Cruz in June 1997, Philippe Kahn was rushing for the most important appointment of his life, the birth of his first baby. Philippe is known for first throughout the computer world. His speciality was making devices work together. He was a software engineer who worked out how to synchronize personal digital assistants with computers. Philippe may be a genius in the computer world, but he was totally out of his depth in the maternity ward. Just go. We had been to the Lamas classes and all these type of things, and the, the, the classic thing happens, you know, uh, I just you say, okay, breathe, relax, and immediately Sonia turns to me, why don't you mind your own business and do your thing? I know what I'm doing. Philippe camped out in the waiting room, where he unloaded all the latest technology. A digital camera, mobile phone, and a laptop computer. He was planning to announce the birth of his baby to everyone he knew. You know, we figure out that we do what people do, which is send an email saying, Sophie is born, she's five pounds, six, whatever. She's saying yeah, she's in good health and all that. That's what we were planning to do. And then suddenly I said, oh, maybe I can do better. Philippe decided to make a bigger announcement by taking a photograph of the new baby and sending it along with the email. But there was one slight problem. At the time, wireless internet in public places didn't exist and he couldn't find a phone socket anywhere for his computer. Hello? Oh, hi, Grandma. And he also made a promise that he may not be able to keep. I'll get you the photo. I promise. All right, bye. Philippe became hooked on announcing the birth instantly, and then he had an idea. Although his mobile phone couldn't connect to the internet, it did run on a cellular network, which was wireless. He thought that he could send the photo through his phone to a website on his computer at home that was permanently connected to the internet. And the whole idea was to be able to take a picture, create a link on a website wirelessly, upload the picture, and then send automatically emails to about 2,000 people who were on my mailing list. Sonia? It was crazy to think Philippe could make his new technology work in time for the birth. But that's never stopped him previously. The first stage was to write the computer program into his laptop that would tell his phone how to send the photos through the cellular network. The key is software. You gotta build software. It's a little bit embedded software that, 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 that talks low level. Uh, and, and then the software, the server software really, that is able to take that picture, put it automatically uh, on, the, on, on a website at the time, and then generate those links dynamically and send emails, you know, to my whole list automatically so that they receive an email. It tells them, you know, Philippe sent you a picture of the birth of Sophie who was blah, 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 blah. Uh, you know, click on this hot link and it'll get you uh, to the picture. The next stage was to be able to connect all three devices to one another the camera, computer, and mobile phone. Philippe then began the fastest soldering job of his life. He was cutting it fine. Mr. Khan, it's time. It had been 18 hours of hard labor, but Sonia and baby Sophie were ready to test Philippe's invention. He took a photo and liked what he saw. He then hurried to send the picture using his phone. 
First, he transferred the photo to his laptop computer, as he always did. Then with the phone connected to his laptop, he ran the new program which loaded the photo and the email announcement into his phone. His phone sent them through the cellular network to his computer at home. The home computer was programmed to automatically send out the email which contained a link to the photo. Philippe waited anxiously to see if his new system worked. Hello? Grandma, you got it? Yeah. <laughs> She's beautiful. Yeah. That day, fundamentally, two things were born. I mean, Sophie, which is really important, and probably the camera phone. And so she's the camera phone baby. Philippe's camera phone was a clunky predecessor to the sleek devices of today, but it caused a lot of geek envy at the time. Many times you do these things, you're not sure what you're really creating. And then people, and, and this is exactly what happened, because what happened is that once I, 2,000 people got the picture of the birth, I'm going forward and the thing, they, I get these emails back, say, how do you do that? We can see you're doing that in real time. Wow, this is cool, can I have one? Today, the camera phone is one of the most popular gadgets on the planet. Anyone can take and send photos or videos instantly to any place in the world. They can do it because technology genius Philippe Kahn is one very determined man.